Hello and welcome. This time we are talking about measurement system for non-electrical variables. So we measure something. Okay, we measure just something. So we want to do it, want to do the basics. Yeah. We talked about it. We talked about it. We said there is some sort of sensor. Yeah. There is some sort of amplifier. And then there is something which is processing this, maybe a display or something like this. I hope you remember this picture. Everything I need, everything I need to measure non-electrical variables, everything I need to measure non-electrical variables is a functioning sensor. Okay, that's all. That's basically everything. So the sensors are quite relevant. This is the chain. Chain structure with sensor, amplifier and display. Often you do have different things in one casing already. Yeah, sometimes it's the whole chain yeah? that is already within. There, there is a sensor inside. There's an amplifier inside. There's a display inside. You can see, let's say, pressure measurement. You can there's display there, and there is even an output for the 20 milliamps to go somewhere. Yeah, but everything is inside this casing. Yeah? We have used, in Arduino, we have used different sensors. This is this, for example. You remember this? This was this NTC, negative temperature coefficient, which changes its resistance according to temperature. Our Arduino played the role of the amplifier. Some also used this one. This was the photo, photo, a resistor, the photoresistor is also a sensor, yeah? just a sensor, nothing more. Both are changing the resistance as an property. This thing here, you see, it's not much bigger, but I tell you, this thing here is everything, so that you get an idea of how integrated those things really are meanwhile. This is a temperature sensor, so it's doing pretty much, I put this away, it's doing pretty much the same thing. This is only the sensor. There is a sensor inside, yeah. there must be an amplifier inside or something like this, and here it's not a display, there's no display on of course, yeah. but it has bus communication. So there is a plus, there is a, there's a plus, there is a minus, and there is a bus line, communication line. I really talk to the sensor, I ask with binary signals, with binary communication, bus communication. Yeah. Hey sensor, please tell me its temperature. And there can be several temperatures, temperature sensor on one bus. That's a so-called one wire bus. There is a separate video about this one wire bus. But this is how big it is. So it can be really, really small. So a combination, this here, this combination. Very often, yeah, that there is a sensor and an amplifier and the measurement device already gives out a, a proper signal. Then there's mainly former times. There was also the case that this was used. Yeah. This was used somewhere. Yeah. Like I said, there are also things which include everything up to these intelligent sensors. Yeah. Intelligent sensors. Sensors, anyway, big business nowadays. Okay. Sensors can be can be divided into several areas, let's say. Uh, we can we can say okay, I can say 
this is a temperature sensor. I can say this is a brightness sensor. I can say this is a temperature sensor. So I can say I can tell from from the way I want to measure. Yeah. Then I can say okay, this is a resistance sensor. This is a resistance sensor. Yeah? This is an intelligence sensor. Yeah? I can say it according the uh, principle, the working principle. Yeah? And I can say it according the electrical uh, parts. Yeah? So this is a passive sensor, this is also a passive sensor, this would be an active sensor. <sighs> Here it's a little bit tricky because it's not technical, it's not only the sensor. Yeah? But I can divide sensors or can put them in several things. Yeah? So I could say, like I said, this is a resistance sensor, it would apply to these two. Then I would say it's a temperature sensor, then this would apply to these two. Yeah? So I can simply name sensors in, into, into areas. The sensor market itself is pretty big nowadays. And the numbers are rising and rising and rising. 2006, 06, we have we had around 82 billion euros. Yeah. 11, we had already around 120 billion. In 16, we had 185, around 185 billion euros in the sensor market. You see, it's increasing, 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 increasing. A lot of sensors, a lot of these sensors are used in transportation devices, cars, trains and so on. IT and communication, also a lot of sensors are used. Building technology. The, the thing where the sensors was used at the beginning, yeah, the process industry, it is really sinking now. The share, the share is sinking. The total amount is also growing, yeah, but the share is sinking. Yeah. And in our field, mechanical engineering, we use around 8% of the share of all sensors. 8%, not too less. Yeah. Just in the mechanical engineering without transportation. Yeah. Transportation around 20%. Yeah. 20% of all used sensors are in the field of, of transportation. 20% in IT. And let's say in mechanical engineering, we are around 8%. Yeah. To tell this since ages. When I was in school, we were told the sensors would, get, would always get smaller and the sensors will be intelligent. This is now ah, over 25 years. They got really small yeah? and they got really intelligent. Yeah? And now they are small and intelligent. So this time I believe it's really true that the intelligence will go down in the field. Up to now, it was not that like prognosed. Yeah? But meanwhile, I'm pretty convinced if I look at this sensor and say this is a communication device also, I mean, there is really not uh, nothing, not far away from a swarm, intelligent swarm, let's say. So the sensors will build networks and communicate to each other and so on. I guess this is the trend in sensors. Yeah. Miniaturize, make it intelligent, yeah. use bus communication. Meanwhile, a lot of sensors still use 4 to 20 milliamps. A very, a very, very integral part of all those stuff is this. Yeah. The amplifier. So Next time we are going to talk about the amplifier because this really has the task to amplify signals coming from the sensor. There can be various signals from the sensor. Usually it's some current or it's some some voltage. Yeah? And the sensor has to react, uh, this, this amplifier has to react on that. Yeah? There are several types of amplifiers, there are decoupling amplifiers, uh, we'll see. Yeah? But this will then be next time. For this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.